Among the things that can reduce a thinker to despair is the knowledge that the illogical is a necessity for mankind, and that much good proceeds from the illogical. It is implanted so firmly in the passions, in language, in art, in religion, and in general in everything that lends value to life, that one cannot pull it out of these fair things without mortally injuring them. Only very naive people are capable of believing that the nature of man could be transformed into a purely logical one. But if there should be degrees of approximation to this objective, what would not have to be lost if this course were taken? Even the most rational man, from time to time, needs to recover nature. That is to say, his illogical original relationship with all things.